videos at nearlyheadless.com. Hello and welcome. In this edition we will be looking at Audacity. Audacity is an open source audio editing suite that is perfect for amateur and pro podcasters alike. Or just about anyone who wants to record something on a digital format with little or no experience of audio software. It's a very stable program, presuming that you're not using the beta version, although I'm sure that would work fine as well. It's light on system resources and like I said before it's a very easy program to use and if used correctly you can make some pretty good quality audio files to boot. For example, I would guess that a large majority of podcasters on YouTube are made using Audacity, even though more professional software is probably available to them. This is most likely due to Audacity being such a quick and easy program to use. However, Audacity isn't without its downsides. One of Audacity's biggest drawbacks is if you're planning on making music with this program, as it lacks any ability to plug in a MIDI controller and or edit MIDI files. That being said, if you're not trying to record something too complicated or professional, for example, if you just want to record yourself or a friend via a microphone, making a vocal track and or playing the guitar to make a demo, for example, and have limited production ability, then this is a perfect platform in terms of music production to get your toes wet. Now, let's talk file types. As default, Audacity will probably export as a WAV or WAV file type, depending on what version of Audacity you're using. A WAV file, in case you're unsure, is an uncompressed file type which is compatible with most devices and is great as long as you don't mind large file sizes. However, if you want to export as an MP3, you may need to download the lame MP3 encoder. Just in case you're wondering, I'm not dissing this encoder, that is actually its name. Which should also be available to download from the same page you downloaded Audacity from. And as usual, the links for this program will be provided in the description section. So, to summarise, Audacity is a good program in its own right. Sure, it may not have all the bells and whistles that a more professional digital audio workstation has, but it's free, easy to use, stable, and is a great precursor to a more professional suite. And in my opinion, its simplicity is also part of its charm. So, if this sounds like the sort of thing you're looking for, why not give it a try? I hope you found this helpful. If so, please support us by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks for watching.